If you grew up around the city of Rome, chances are that you took a school field trip to Erie Canal Village. In the last few years, it's all fallen into disrepair, but now it's getting a new life. New tonight at 5 o'clock, our Laura Hand has a look at the reopening and plans for the future. This is where they started building America's highway to the west. In Rome, this is where they started building the Erie Canal. There's a lot more history here, too, and now some efforts to save it all. God bless America. We will rebuild the Erie Canal Village that people have grown to love. We will open every building here. We will have the same kinds of historical reenactments that were here years ago. This holiday weekend, they had a soft reopening with the craft fair. It drew thousands with reenactors and lots of entertainment. Lay off. Some from even before the period. Up. The Knights will have a permanent practice facility here, so watching them will be an ongoing attraction. But the serious work will be to restore the buildings from the foundations up in many cases. The history here in these buildings, they're one of a kind. I, I have a duty to central New York to save this. And that's exactly the way I feel about it. And while they're restoring, they hope to have the first buildings open later this summer, they'll also be training people in edutainment to share the experience of, for example, a one-room schoolhouse and the rest of the history of the site. Like the first shovelful coming out of Clinton's Ditch right here. The first shovelful of the Erie Canal right here on this property. Now, this Memorial Weekend Craft Fair is about done, but there will be lots more activities here right through the summer, including a bluegrass festival next month, a Civil War encampment later in the summer, and a pirate fest, too. And, of course, you can always come here and picnic and see the progress on the work on the historic buildings. At Rome's Erie Canal Village, I'm Laura Hand reporting. That is something really neat to check out this summer. Right now, working at rebuilding our past to make history a tourist attraction in the future. The city of Rome was key in our country's economic development, and now a historic place there is reopened. Besides entertainment, its mission is to show off history in a fun way. Laura Hands, CBS 5, reports. Thousands came to Erie Canal Village's reopening this weekend, many with memories of visiting here as school children, learning local history, like about the one-room schoolhouse, one of many buildings moved to the site, now fallen into disrepair. The history here in these buildings, they're one of a kind. I, I, I have a duty to central New York to save this, and that's exactly the way I feel about it. Lay off! It won't be your old historic village. Medieval fighting groups will get a practice area here, watching them already a draw. And besides the entertainment you'll see here now, there's real history on this site. That's why they want to save it. The Erie Canal, they started digging it on this property. And before the Erie Canal, there was Clinton's Ditch. Here it is. They started digging it in 1817. And before that, there was French and Indian War history over there from the 1700s. We are offering to rebuild a copy of, of Fort Bull. 300 British soldiers died here, attacked by the French. The new managers want to find them, buried somewhere here. They were offered the chance to surrender, but they needed to defend the colonies. They declined to surrender and fought to the last man and woman. One of the officers' wives was one of the last people killed fighting. Lots of history, and they plan to make it interesting to all ages, free to look, the profits from souvenirs and food. I think that would be fantastic to actually sit down at the Harbin tables in that dining room and have lunch. I, I just be able to have lunch in history. Yeah. It would just be so neat. Until then, people are welcome to come picnic on the grounds and see the work in progress. At Erie Canal Village, Laura Hand reporting.